Welcome, folks, to Friday's Devotions. We're continuing this fascinating encounter between Jacob and the Lord at Bethel. So we're reading here Genesis 28 and from verse 16. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. So early in the morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of the city was Luz at the first. Then Jacob made a vow saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and clothing to wear, so to come again to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will give a full tenth to you. Amen. Jacob's response to this encounter when he had this dream of this ladder between heaven and earth, his response to this encounter with God was to have a, a fear from being in the presence of God. He says, surely the Lord is this place. I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? We need to be seeking daily encounters with the living God through Jesus in his word. But it's only through a, a greater awareness of God's presence that we can then live a, a God-pleasing life in a world that's hostile to God. It's when we become more aware of the majesty, the glory, the wonder of who God is. It's when we have a proper respect and fear of God. Then we will put God's will above the will of the world and above our own world will. Jacob's response to being in God's presence was to worship. It says there, the verse 18, he took up this stone in the morning, he poured oil on it, and he called on the name, he called the name of that place, Bethel, meaning house of God. Jacob wants his encounter with the Lord to be remembered. And this has become the most important event of his life. He, his life would be transformed through meeting with the living God and coming to know something of the living God at this place. And each of us need to seek and to value encountering God above everything else. It's coming to meet with God, coming to know God that transforms our lives. We were made to know God. We were made to have a relationship with God. And how we seek to encounter God is through his word. It's as we get into the Bible, get into the truth of God, work of God's word. That is our Bethel. That's our house of God as we meet with the living God. Jacob's language in verses 20 to 22 about if the Lord brings him back, that he will be committed to the Lord. It is covenantal. A covenant is when two parties devote themselves to each other. And as God has committed himself to Jacob, now Jacob promises to commit himself to the Lord. Jacob isn't looking for riches. He's just seeking that God would provide for his daily needs. And Jacob would show his thanks to God by tithing to the Lord and worshipping the Lord in response. And no, we need to show our thanksgiving to God daily, not just with words, but with a life that's dedicated to God, devoting our time, our talents and our money for God's glory. Uh, Martin Luther used to say that uh, often people need two conversions, the conversion of their heart and the conversion of their wallet. Uh, the use of our money, our possessions, in many ways will show who our true God is. Your use of money, what does it say about what's important to you? Maybe look through your bank statement over this past month and see where the money goes. What's most important to you? We don't pay our way or earn our way into God's good book or into heaven. But God is wanting us to be people who from our hearts are devoted to him, who are committed to him, who in response to what he has done for us, we will and be dedicated to him. And Jacob is saying that the Lord brings him back to this place once more safely, he will be devoted to the Lord. But what's the Lord done for people? He has sent his son to die on the cross. That's the commitment of God to his people. 
How much more in response to God should we be devoted and give our all for him? May God give us such grace. Amen.